Hi lovely air signs, welcome to my channel Joy Energy Tarot. I'm Jenny. Now this is an intuitive guide reading for June the uh, 14th to the 20th. Now if this resonates with you, please push like, subscribe and notify. If it doesn't, don't worry, go and watch some other lovely person. Now I'm going to do the weekly reading and then guiding messages here for Aquarius, Gemini, Libra at the end. Oracle messages, okay? So let's get on with it. Now, if you've got a 14 in your chart, a 1 and a 4 is a 5. People with 5s like change, freedom, and they're always good at communicating. All right, now if you're given free reign in a job, you can achieve wonders. It's also the account of, of excess, so just be a bit careful. I mean the number. This goes through the, to the 20th. If you've got a 2, you like being the supportive person. You're really good at seeing both sides of a story, and you would make a great counsellor. Okay, so for the week coming up, what have we got? Thank you, Spirit. Let's see. What have we got for Monday? No time in the spirit world, of course. Moving forward. Now, this has come up um, quite a bit. So I often feel that even though I'm doing reading separately for each um, sign, uh, you know, air, water, earth, fire, similar messages are happening universally okay so they do say watch your rising sign and your moon sign as well but this card seems to be everywhere this is like you've packed your bags you're going you're on your way you are moving forward i love this in this uh, deck and a lot of decks people see them as something negative and to do with fighting and stealing etc i see it as a seven if you look at her she's very happy it's where you're moving forward. You've learned your lessons from all those stresses and mental things that you've been through. People letting you down, people ripping you off, etc. Taking advantage of you. But you now know the truth. You know what to look for and what to avoid. So this is the card where you've learnt your lessons, you've caught the boat, landed in a different shore and away you go. So for some of you, you are moving house or moving jobs. For the rest of you, you're moving the way you look at things and the way you think about things. But you're definitely moving forward and you're choosing to move forward. Okay, and I'd say too, you're going to move forward or change those views in a hurry. It's going to happen very quickly, all right? So... Yeah, again, a double seven here. So sevens are also about overcoming fears, false emotion appearing real. You're doing that. There's all those challenges and things that you're working hard to move away from now. You've learnt through them and you're standing there now with all the seeds planted from your hard work and your life experiences, looking at it for, um, through the fence there or through whatever. You're looking to the future, the type of house you want or the type of job you want. You've decided now what exactly it is that you want and you've, you've overcome everything. You're victorious now. So that's fantastic and it is about overcoming those fears. So you've got a double seven there. So just remind yourself that you're overcoming those things. You may have started the week um, a little bit doubtful, but you are actually successful. Keep telling yourself that. And this, um, this also uh, reiterates that same thing. Moving in a new direction, coming out of the dark, moving forward into the light, and going forward um, with joy and happiness and feeling feeling beautiful as you can see by her she's all dressed up and feeling wonderful now and right next to it too is the chariot so it's i feel that you're overcoming um some sort of loss for some of you it could be loss of money loss of hope loss of dreams or goals that now you're moving forward you're not taking any notice of that you're leaving it in the past where it belongs and you are victorious this is you being victorious at what you want um, you've earned the golden egg there. This is also overcoming past life challenges as well, or karma, you know, and now you are victorious. Some of you, this is about traveling. It used to represent traveling overseas, so if you can still do that, go for it. But it's about traveling too, and moving forward and making good choices. Wonderful. Okay, Wednesday. Like No time, like I said, in the spirit world, but we'll go for approximately Wednesday. Some of you have needed a healing. And you've needed a rest and that's um so i hope that you've taken that you're either you've been working too hard or you um had a lot of challenges to deal with and thinking because you're an air sign you'll be thinking and overthinking so you actually some of you need a rest and you even need a healing others of you could be working in the healing hospital industry because right next to it is the empress and this is the woman who or the energy of the 
beautiful woman or the beautiful person who is um, can be a healer or can heal people, help people, be a counsellor. And that's what you are. You are the person too that can bring healing to others. So this is for some of you where you are working in that industry. You might be a nurse or you might be a counsellor or you're just a lovely caring person working in that health industry. For the rest of you, you've needed a bit of a rest because you're tired, but you're going to overcome that with the Empress. And the Empress card also represents attracting abundance. It can be the beginning of where you're starting a new project or a new job, new more of a new uh, business of some sort or something creative. The, uh, the Empress is bringing in abundance and creativity and happiness, really. People come to you because they see you as a lovely, caring, happy person. Okay, then you've got the universe. The world is your oyster. You can do what you want now. They're saying you've earned your angel wings. We're now guiding you to be in the right place at the right time. We're looking after you. And this represents a new chapter in your life too. You're now moving forward into a new phase in your life. Should we have a clarifier for that please? This is happening towards the end of the week, next week. Yeah, you're back in charge of your life, okay? Keep rising up out of the ashes, feeling happy, feeling content, um, feeling passionate about what you do. So that's fabulous. So I think that overcoming those challenges and things has been great that you can now do it and you're moving, you know, like really going ahead with your life. You're going to be communicating. Um, you're guided from above. You're going to be receiving phone calls, talking to people, emails. Um, you're now, you're asking questions, seeking the truth because some of you have got a life-changing choice to make and that life-changing choice, you want to know the truth about it all before you decide whether you want to do it. But this is a card where you jump in, go for it, it's going to affect your life and help you change your life. Some of you will be um, dithering, standing there thinking which way to go. This is choices, you've got your guard up. But you're going to make a strong choice. You're feeling powerful about making that decision. And look to the guidance from above. You've got a lovely ancestor there guiding you. So talk to them and ask them to help you with your decision. Because once you make your mind up about where you want to go, or what you want to do about some issue that's happening in your life, your life will be a lot easier and you will have peace of mind and you'll be able to come out of the dark into the light, moving forward and and what you want to do okay so that's for that week and now we'll do the oracle cards for each um, star sign so we've got Aquarius first you have got take a step back okay take a step back look at the beautiful art so this week we've got the lovely Kyle Gray angel guide oracle messages take a step back when we try to rush ahead and force something to happen, we can often miss signals, signs and messages that are encouraging us to change course. If you have a big decision to make now or are in the midst of moving a project forward, your angels are encouraging you to take a step back and breathe. What is for you won't go by you. Your angels are encouraging you to step into the energy of trust. When you do so, you will draw universal energy in to support you. If you have concerns about another person or a relationship, this card is guiding you to draw back and respect the space of others. Let this be a time of self-care and self-awareness. And when you step back, you let the universe step in, Aquarius. Okay, and your little messages for uh, divine directions are time. The universe is helping you look for synchronistic events around you. And trust. Trust in your intuition and what you are feeling, sensing, seeing or experiencing. Sorry, I don't know if these focus. There we are, Aquarius. That's for you. And now we've got um, Gemini. Yes. Okay, Gemini. So if you were thinking about a question or focusing on something, yes, yes, yes is your answer. Woohoo, look at you go. This card is a huge thumbs up. If you're making a decision, the answer is yes, go for it. This is a time for positivity, celebration and progress. Angels are encouraging you to let in the light and enjoy it. All of your hard work is paying off. 
any endeavors, projects and opportunities before you now are getting the green light. If you've been holding off for the right time, the time is now and you are being encouraged to take the next step. You're good to go. If you're feeling scared or worried, that's okay. Invite and in help. Angels are there to guide you and they want to be part of your success. So relax and experience the joy that is unfolding for you now. There we are, Gemini, and your messages are ground. It's time to ground and centre your energy. Be truly present in your life. Now to do that, just walk outside and bare feet, ground your energy, okay? And focus. You're in need of a clear direction. Decide what you want in life. There we go, Gemini. And finally, Libra, what have you got? Guardian Angel. Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful art. Guardian Angel, Libra. You are an independent soul and often find yourself trying to do everything on your own, but know that even just a quick prayer to your Guardian Angel can take away some of that pressure. Your Angel wants to hear from you more. In order to support you fully, they must be invited to do so, but then no request is too much. Oh, yeah. Your angel guide was made for you and is dedicated to you. Take time today for an easy and informed conversation with them. <laughs> and the dog starts barking when I say that. Speak openly and in a heartfelt way about your life, any challenges you're facing and anything you need to help with. Through the conversation, their help will find its way to you. When you draw this card, they want you to know they are with you. And your messages are skills. It's time to learn some new skills. Study a course or start a new hobby. Okay. Decide. It's time for you to make a decision. Call upon your spirit guides for help. All right. That's um, Libra. That's for you. And the general message for everybody this week from lovely Louise Hay, I am connected to all life. I am connected to all life. And I can either help to destroy the planet or to heal it. Every day I choose to send loving healing energy to the planet. What I do with my mind does make a difference. And it sure does. If you think negatively, you will attract negative things into your life. If you think positively, you will attract positive things. So on that, that note, people, thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helping you with guidance. If you like it, push like, subscribe and notify. Oh, don't know what's happening to the dog next door. I have to send loving my thoughts over there. Okay, people, blessings to you all. Have a wonderful week. Ka kiri anō. See you again.